In this video, I'd like to address some concerns and issues about, uh, well, specifically about men going their own way, about a man going his own way. Um, sometimes it's been pointed out that uh, this concept essentially amounts to a running away from a problem, a fleeing, taking flight. Um, and I don't agree with that, and I'd like to say why. Obviously, this is all just my opinion, my take on things. Um, none of this is factual, at least here it's not going to be. Um, but basically, I don't think that withdrawing yourself from society um, and going your own path is running away. Uh, you might find, or I think I can find an apt analogy in the concept of a faulty product. Uh, let's say there was some very important product uh, of allegedly uh, great use uh, to the masses, and the actual production of the product, project, uh, product was shabby, and that the advertising was prim the primary thing by which uh, the product was sold. In fact, the people behind the advertisements and the advertising, they were masterminds of, this, of, of advertising, of convincing people of subliminal uh, manipulation, if you will, and so many, many people buy this product even though it's not good for them. And uh, amongst the people, there uh, comes into existence some sort of movement, some sort of concept of boycotting the product. Um, the motivation behind the boycott is to decouple this particular company that makes the product. And it, as I said, it makes this product in an illegitimate way and it pre presents the product through Ill illegitimate or at the very least manipulative advertising decouple the company from its economic uh, power uh, slash stranglehold. And boycotting something is a perfectly legitimate means of decoupling something, usually a, a company, from uh, its economic hold on things. Um, and so I don't see any issue, and likewise by analogy, by withdrawing oneself from the stranglehold of power of the system, um, a system which is not in favor of, of, of most males, um, you are effectively boycotting a product. The alternative would be to continue buying the product. And what I don't like about the alternative about continuously chasing the product, as it were, or participating in society in any uh, large-scale measure is simply because, uh, well, at the end of the day, you're, you're just, you're going to be part of the rat race. And what I really don't like, what I think men, it's my opinion, once again, we should offer more support for each other and a greater sense of unity. Um, but instead, if you do partic participate in the great game, the other great game, not the one in, uh, in Central Asia, um, yeah, you end up just, you know, running over other men's corpses. I mean, you're just clawing your way past uh, people in the queue, and I just don't, I don't see a positive result uh, coming from that. I think withdrawing your support from something is a legitimate means of uh, depowering that thing. In this case, it's a uh, society that a society that has reached the point where we are simply not welcome. It, except as the role of some kind of slave. Now, there have been some recent comments uh, uh, calling this uh, this con this whole the entire rhetoric behind men going their own way as you know something depicting as a feat, and uh, and there's some something else. I mean, I'm going to have to address this as well. This idea of that that there's something really good about what's natural, the red tooth and claw, as it were, um, that many of us, no doubt, are uh, beta, alleged beta males, um, and uh, we, we are sort of the weak, and the weak need to be, need to be weeded out. This is at least uh, one commentator has offered this, this notion. Well, 
for better or worse, our ancestors did, did manage to reproduce, and so we're here. Um, if we want to live in a, in, a, in a system where cooperation is, is uh, of greatest primacy, then um, I think we need to get past these notions of alpha and beta. And after all, um, even amongst so-called true alpha males, and I don't mean the alpha male primitives, the guys who are just chasing pussy all the time, uh, these guys, the guys sitting up in their uh, ivory towers, or rather uh, shadowy towers, controlling events from afar, they certainly don't give a shit about us. Um, and trying to aspire to something like that, it's unlikely we ever will reach that. And why would you, on, on ethical grounds, why would you want to uh, engage in mass manipulation and control of things? Well, I suppose to some that is worthy of aspiration and worthy of uh, being striven for. But uh, that's not what I want. Um, at the end of the day, I want peace of mind. Uh, it's very difficult to find peace of mind in the current social construct. And the thing about men going their own way is it's not really defined by anything per se, other than a man choosing of his own free will to do that just that, go his own way. Uh, what he does with that freedom uh, is of his own choosing. Um, so, yeah, there is shadowing where you just, you really just exist on the cusps of society. I'm not quite there yet, but I, I certainly, I don't engage in too, too many social activities these days. I go to work, occasionally I have dinner with a, with a friend, uh, and, you know, that's about it um, in terms of social activities. Uh, that said, I mean, a man should be free to do whatever he wants. Um, but the idea of a man going his own way, uh, that, that being seen as some, as essentially taking flight of running away from a problem. Well, once again, this is my opinion, but quite frankly, I think the system, uh, the system, the government, political system, society, and everything that's sort of interrelated, it's pretty broken. I think it's irreparably, irreparably broken to the point where... Uh, I don't think it can be fixed, at least anytime soon. We'll all be dust and bones before that happens. So actually, whilst I, I, I would laud the, the men who, who try to work within the system and try to change things, uh, I don't see that happening. Um, and so what I see is the best solution is the withdrawal. Um, effectively, one is boycotting the deceptive company producing the deceptive product. Um, now, we don't have the numbers, unfortunately, to bring about a tremendous effect since most men are still stuck in the mindset of uh, playing the game, the great game, and running about uh, you know, trying to achieve status in order to acquire female attention and female admiration. Uh, so, you know, but that said, if there were sufficient numbers, uh, things really could be changed. Um, it's always a question of numbers at the end of the day. Everything is. With sufficient numbers, you can affect just about any change. But we don't have the numbers, admittedly. Uh, so, in a way, it is a bit more symbolic. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't see returning to a system... I mean, of, of nature, one poster made this comment that sort of the, the, the purging effect of nature where weakness is sort of washed away. Well, I suppose that's, that's good for some, um, but uh, I just don't see that as a particularly worthwhile path to follow. In particular, because of our, not just because, but certainly because our numbers are so few, because we don't have a lot of people we, we should cooperate with each other, I think. Um, and we should offer support. The fact is, the simple fact is, that in the current model of society and the world we live in, um, the man next to you is a competitor. Not a healthy competitor. He's not engaging in some sporting activity or uh, trying to outthink you in some intellectual endeavor or scientific endeavor. No, he's, he's trying to, to out-compete you in terms of acquiring material goods, money, and acquiring females. Um, 
we are taught that as men that we are to crawl over each other, uh, each other's corpses if need be, in order to acquire uh, wealth and all these things that are allegedly uh, make us happy and allegedly um, give us the things that we allegedly want. And apparently some men do want it, about it, women's attention and what have you. Uh, that's the problem. We do not have to be slaves to biological determinism. It is very difficult to shake off uh, our biology. There is no doubt about that. But the very fact that we are cognizant of our biology and of its, of its impact on our behavior is a small, small modicum of an indication that we can, in fact, to some extent, overcome our biology. And we can, for example, uh, live and behave in a much more cooperative manner with our fellow men rather than, as I said, climb past each other in the queue trying to you know, get access to uh, the next best female or whatever else it might be, but usually that's what it ends up being. Uh, we, we, we can, in fact, uh, move past that. The key is awareness and cognizance. We are aware and cognizant of these things. And it can be done. Now, it's true most men are not cognizant of this stuff. And even if they are, they, they just go along with it anyway. Um, but that's really important. And I think that's, that's, that's part of it. I mean, withdrawing, I think, honestly, is a, a good solution to things. Uh, withholding one's support for a cause is it's not cowardly. It's not running away. It's simply making a decision after having weighed out the issues. You might have been a part of an organization the, that you might not agree with anymore perspectives might have changed, or whatever it might be. And so you go your own way. You're not part of that organization anymore. And that seems legitimate to me. Once again, this is just my opinion. Uh, and I'm not here to convince other men going their own way to do it exactly my way or any other way. Everyone's free to do what he wants. But uh, this idea that it's, it's running away, what's the alternative? You can try to fix the broken system that is, as I said, irreparably broken. It doesn't seem likely that uh, that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, but certainly, uh, it, should, it probably should be done, although it probably needs to be likened to some sort of uh, Sisyphean labor, i.e. Uh, pushing a boulder up a hill only to have it roll back down. Um, what would not be Sisyphean would be, as I said, withdrawal. By withdrawing our support from things, we are, in fact, um, decoupling key elements and uh, various companies, as it were, from str their stranglehold on the, the gender economy, as it were. That's my take on that. Um, I, I think in we should engender amongst each other cooperation because there's far too little of it amongst men. Uh, most women will side with other women um, in the blink of an eye. In fact, most men will side with other women in the blink of an eye. Um, the, the male, the odd male, is the odd male, a man out. He is the odd human being out. Um, so we have the stakes. Uh, the stakes are uh, against us, essentially. That's why I think cooperation is very important. Um, and withdrawal doesn't mean withdrawing that cooperation. I myself uh, certainly don't want to return to some system of red tooth and claw where we're clawing past people, crawling over, over each other's corpses in order to uh, acquire the next best female or whatever else might be attributed to uh, alpha status. Um, we do not need to be complete slaves are biology. That will always be there to some extent, it's true. But our awareness and our cognizance of these issues can allow us to bypass it to a certain extent. If we had no awareness of this, it would be impossible. I concede that, I grant that, but we are aware of these things. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I had to have to say about that. Uh, thanks for listening.